plaintiff, Don Britt, says four months after he started dating the defendant, she got pregnant and swore up and down that he was the father. However, Don took a paternity test and discovered he was not the child's father, but later went to jail for non-payment of child support. He's suing for emotional distress. Defendant Rhonda Thompson insists Don knew from day one that he was not her child's father. Rhonda claims Don failed to show up to court to take a paternity test multiple times, and she's countersuing for emotional distress. I'll start with you. Uh, Yana, uh, first of all, it's a pleasure to be here. All right, but uh, the reality of the situation is sad situation while I'm here. I met Rhonda when I was about 17. She was about 15. We had gotten a relationship, you know what I mean? I, I cared about her a lot. And throughout the, uh, as time progressed through the relationship, uh, she had informed me that she was pregnant. And um, I was sad and happy at the same time. How long I, had you all been together at that point? At that point, it probably had been about four or five months. Okay. And uh, um, I was nervous about the situation, but I grew up without a father. So at that time, like, I really realized I had to step up for real. So I um, immediately started doing everything I had to do as far as doctor's appointments, whatever I had to do. So, what doctor uh, appointment did you go to? Hold on, ma'am. Let him finish. Mm -hmm. And um, when, um, when she had the baby, I was there at the, uh, on the day of the birth. And... Um, it seemed like a couple months after that, the rumors started where they were saying the baby didn't look like me. Uh, it wasn't my child. And I had basically started talking to Rhonda about it. And then she swore up and down and I was the only guy she was dealing with. So I just put the rumors to the back of my mind. Excuse and, me, Your Honor. Um, He's lying. Oh no. mm -hmm. He's lying right there. First of all, he knew from day one that Tayana was not his child. Mm -hmm. I told him day one when I found out that I was pregnant. What really happened? That's back, a lie. Back when I was 15 years old, Your Honor, what happened? I was raped at a neighbor's house. Mm. And it was really hard for me. I was 15 at the time. Mm. I didn't have nobody that I could confide in. Well, she definitely. I told him, I told him. He said that it's only right for me to step up to be a father to this child since you're not comfortable with telling your situation. He knew that I was not comfortable with telling my situation. His name was on the birth certificate. His name was on the birth certificate. She told me that. I did right, not. Let him finish the okay. So if, if that was the situation, I would have never signed the birth certificate. Okay. I, so I, what has happened since then? Uh, I, pr I pretty much put the rumors to the back of my mind because, mm -hmm. I mean, I can't really live my life on hearsay or whatever, but I mean, I gotta admit, like, as time went on, uh, the rumors and all that had began to be too much for me. So uh, I went down and I, and I petitioned the court for paternity. And, what year um, was that? That was about 2006. Okay, 2008. and the, the child was how old at that time? Uh, she was about five. She was okay. seven or eight. And, uh, <laughs> and you went only because you were tired of hearing the rumors? I wanted to find out for, for certain. Oh, no, man. he went because he got locked up for not paying the child support. I hadn't been locked up at that point, Yana. All right. Okay, well, hold on. When but, was he jailed? Give me just a moment. All right. Plaintiff Don Britt says when the defendant got pregnant 11 years ago, she insisted he was the father, but a paternity test proved otherwise. When were you jailed? That's, that I has jailed become an issue. About 2009. Oh, nine. Somewhere around that time. You were jailed for non-payment of child support. Yes, Why sir. hadn't you paid? Because I, uh, I had petitioned with the court two times before, and she was a no-show on both times. When? When had you petitioned the court? What year? The first time was around about 2006, 2007. She was no-show on both mm -hmm. times. So I, I looked at it like a mission of guilt. So, I mean, I gotta admit, I stopped paying child support. Did they, you go to court? Yes, sir, I did. And, when and they wasn't was, giving me no type of forward advice as far as how to, how to handle the situation, so. They didn't I tell mean, you you should take a, a paternity test? That's what I was there for, to take the paternity In test. In To actually begin the process as far as paying for the paternity mm -hmm. test because they wasn't offering yeah, it. She before. doesn't have to come for them to order a paternity test. If she doesn't show up, <laughs> 
yes, in sir. order of paternity test anyway. Nobody informed me at that, at that time, okay. so that was the reason why I took Let it Let me up. hear from you, ma'am. You want to give me your background on it? Yes, Your Honor. I'm actually a student right now, but as far as the situation goes, like I said, I told him from day one he knew that he was not her father. Mm -hmm. I have a Facebook message to where he... No, let's talk about the paternity test. Did you? He said you never showed up. I actually showed up. I have a petition for him to be arrested because he did not show up to the court there date, There you go. He did not show up several occasions. Failure to appear in this court. And I have others here. Arrest show. this respondent because he failed to show up to court. Sir? I have no I have no knowledge of that, sir. I didn't hear you. I have no knowledge of that, sir. <laughs> and I have okay. the other documents here showing that. All right, uh, ma'am. I'm sorry. She was telling me. So over the second, what did you find? You found that it wasn't your child? Yes, sir. All right. So and I also, you're suing for what today? For pain and suffering. How so? Because for one, I found out four days after my brother had been killed uh -huh. that she wasn't uh, my daughter. Uh, he was killed on November 12th and I found out on November 16th. But at the time where uh, the last time where uh, Division of Child Support had took the money out of my account, I was in the process of opening up my barbershop. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of like a lot for me dealing with because I had to go back and pretty much draw another plan on how, how I was going to live. So you say the paternity test proved the child wasn't yours. Yes, sir. And as a result, you want emotional distress. Yes. What do you want to tell me? He says it was determined that the child wasn't his. I never misled him. He knew from day one when I found out that I was pregnant that she was not his. He wanted to be the noble guy that he was. I gave him, he was a good guy back then. He was a high school student. You know, he was making good grades at school, playing football. He was a good person back then. Now, I don't know if he got into drugs or whatever he got going on with his life. I don't know what's going on. But he knew from day one that she was not his. I respected him for stepping up to be the father because so at that time- So why did he change his mind? I don't know why he changed his mind. You didn't ask? I haven't you, talked to him. I don't talk to him like you that. You haven't spoken to him since he denied being the father. He just started denying being a father once he got locked up and they took his money from him. That's when all this came from, when they took his and money. When was that? Just this year, Your Honor. Why would I fight for paternity in 2006? Yeah. You was fighting for paternity in 2006. Ma'am, talk to me. Why did he petition in 06 then? Because back in 06, he also petitioned to stop the child support. And they told him the only way that he could stop the child support is if he did mm -hmm. a paternity test. Why didn't you all do it in 06? We didn't do it because they couldn't find him. They couldn't find that him. That doesn't make much sense for him. He petitions the court. He says, court... Give me a DNA test so that I can stay out of jail. And the court says, no problem. We'll give it to you. And then he just says, ah, I'm not going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just go to jail. So that's not making sense. It doesn't make sense, but that's what happened. Okay. It, it doesn't make sense. But like, like I was trying to state to you before, mm -hmm. as I stated before, he has, he has known from day one. I have message. I heard you. Let me explain. Anything you've already said, you don't have to say it again. Okay. That's fine. That's you know, fine. When you say, like I said before, that's bordering on disrespect for to a judge. Okay, I'm sorry right. about that. And also back in 2003, the child support case actually started back in 2003 when I had buried another daughter of mine. Excuse sorry me. Sorry to hear that. And my father was dead for her for that too. Sorry to hear that. I buried another daughter of mine and I needed some help. I needed some help to take care of my daughter because he was not helping me. He was not helping me at all. I went to file for government assistance. I received government assistance for three months, three months. And that's where the child support case came from. The state actually opened up the case. I did not open up the child support case. He could have then argued with the state to go ahead and take that paternity test at that moment. Because he decided never, not I, to because he already knew that I she wasn't his. I never had a problem with, the, back, with child support. Let her finish. Back in 2003, the Commonwealth of Virginia will give you a paternity test. That's part, they will give you a paternity test. He signed the waiver of formal services of- Let's see it, please. Saying that he's willing to go ahead and pay the child support. He decided to go ahead and sign that. And it says he, his arm wasn't tired or nothing. He decided to do that on his own. I was under the impression that was my daughter. That's why I did that. Plaintiff Don Britt says when the defendant got pregnant 11 years ago, she insisted he was the father. But a paternity test proved otherwise. 
He says that's why I did it because he was under the impression that it was his daughter based on what you had told him. He said that's why I signed. <laughs> Ma'am, your counterclaim for uh, emotional distress is for what? My counterclaim for emotional distress is because my, my daughter grew up thinking that he was her father. and she You had, didn't tell her? He no, wasn't? I, no, I did not tell her. He, Why? No, because like I said. I Why? Was, no, I remember I said, if you say like I said, I'm, I'm sorry. you don't have to tell okay. me a second time. I'm sorry. So you misled her. Right. All right. And so therefore, I believe you misled him as well. $4,000 for the plaintiff. Your claim is this more. Have a good day. I mean, tell her that she, you didn't tell her that you, you didn't deceive her. You look her in her face. Well, not me. You knew that going well My that you was not her father. I what did you do for Fiona. her? What did you do for her? How did, you love her? How you love her? What when, did you do for when, her? When you what have school, you done when you for her? When you sent her to school, Miss Dress. You ain't buying it. You ain't buying it. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie.